are we on? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Let's make the phone check. Lights. Lights. Cameras. This is Swanky. This is Lifestyle. This is Culture. Welcome to the social center of everything culture. Culture Daily. Bringing us to 20 something minutes, about uh, 23, 24 minutes past 9 a.m. A bit late into our big conversation, but it's all good because what we are going to talk about is really big, if you understand. Bigger than ever. Yes, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Really, really big conversation this morning on the show. It's a Tuesday, and you know we focus a bit more on health on Tuesdays, and we have Dr. Chris live in the studio. Chris, welcome to the studio again. Yes. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm good. How are you doing? I'm well, I'm big and bright. <laughs> Well, everybody will understand why I'm using the word big this morning. But yes, it's a big conversation on a big day like a Tuesday like this. Specifically uh, because uh, I want to focus uh, hard on the men who f- who like to do BBLs. I don't know if they exist, but if they do exist, that's fine. We'll just highlight a few. But if they don't exist as well, then we'll be talking about the other gender, um, which is the beautiful big gender called the females. Before we do the conversation, it's important to understand that Lancaster University Ghana is offering you a degree program with 50% on scholarship. So go onto their website, it's lancaster.edu.gh or email them at admissions at lancaster.edu.gh or call 0209-607008 right about now. And they'll tell you more about this great offer they of, they have available at Lancaster University. It's, it is the only British university campus in West Africa. Also, Betway is reminding you that if that's one last game, like how the Black Stars of Ghana yesterday lost against Niger in a game that wasn't <sighs> even going to let them qualify to anything but just a fourth or fifth or seventh place, and they even lost that one. Wow. Um, yes, that's one last, in case you have placed so many bets and then that one last game, like the ghana Niger game, made you lose. Well, guess what? Bet saver feature on Betway will make you get your money back or even be, be able to uh, replace your bets. Just go to betway.com. Dot gh or download the app right about now and explore the bet saver feature terms and conditions apply it's regulated by the gaming commission of ghana best the responsible way bet we get way more um would you place your bets on the black stars would you well quite disappointing now this morning we are talking about the bbls those people who have been uh, trying to expand their mass size not through diet, but just by in implants and uh, in various parts of their bodies. And like I rightly said, we hardly come across guys who are doing that. The last guy I came across, Yao Atta, had pumped it into his thighs. Doc, I don't know, but I think that wasn't silicone, was it? No, that's fat. It's f- that's fat. That's it. Okay. So we do a... Well, the BBL, you have to So basically, what guys don't do BBLs. B- guys do BBL. They do? Yeah. Which mm-hmm. part of their body? Uh, they do their butts, some do their thighs. Yeah. <laughs> doc, okay. when you say guys, yeah, man. Uh, let me let me let me make reference to the guys <laughs> I'm talking about, doc. I'm talking about the boys with the chop gobe. Yes, I'm talking ah. about boys. No, 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 doc. Don't ask some people to ask, <laughs> doc. We don't like something. The gobe squad. Don't ask some people to ask. I'm well, talking about boys that sit down gobe. Friday evening over over. Are there men who don't eat gobe. No, I'm just saying. I'm just well, saying. I'm, sure I'm making reference to something. Mm. If you're talking about guys, I use the word guys, and the description of guys yes. clearly states that. A group of boys who sit together with common mm-hmm. uh, uh, <laughs> goals, goals, visions, <laughs> uh, <chat>. over nothing. <laughs> you yes. understand? Yes. yes. They, they do it. Anybody else that doesn't fall into this description is my guy. No, they do. They do it for physique. Some do it for confidence. Some my have point uh, exactly. sagging butts and flat When Cyril so and myself and a few other guys sit down, we don't think about physique. We never about discussed physique. it. We don't even know what it is. Hey, we are not even after that. They spell it with F or what? Yeah. No contour, way. muscle contour. Yes. So you're telling so me there's fake muscles out yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even six packs. Yeah, some are some are work done. It's a problem. Yeah. So, anyway. so as you are talking about is the BB what does it mean? Brazilian butt lift. So it's don't, a Brazilian butt lift. Don't, don't I was going to say something. So <laughs> <but, but laughs> what do you think it was? What were you going oh. to say? <laughs> big black and beautiful. <laughs> oh no, I thought it was big but that Liberia. <laughs> <laughs> but into more stories. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, again. Yeah, so again. The, the whole idea of it was, um, we, you know, in order for you to put fat somewhere, you need to get it from somewhere. 
So we need to go and harvest. So we do um no before I even talk about this, uh they can cue the first video I send them for you to see like the viewers should see what I'm talking about. Mm. So the first one we do is lipo section because it's a three sixty lipo. So we go around from below your breast line to where your panty line begins and starts from begins. And then we go to your back, your flanks, your sides, and we try and uh, harvest some of the fat, the adip- adipose tissue over there. Okay. So uh, it's would you say that BBLs, uh, the general description will be repositioning body parts? Yeah. So <laughs> you need to fill certain places. Yes. But you, there's no material. Mm-hmm. So is that a silicone, which now we don't do anymore? Oh, okay. Yes. So the natural way is to get the fat from somewhere else and then put it somewhere else. Mm. Right. Mm. But in order to get it, so it's a procedure where you need to do one part first, store it, and then transfer that same fat somewhere else. Okay. There's a lot to enter into this convers- in this conversation. So let's go and watch this video. When we come back, the questions are numerous. Are we seeing with the friends we see, especially the ladies, is, is, is it for real? Be right back. Vaser liposuction is a three-step process. First, a tumescent solution is injected into the fat layer beneath the skin. Tumescent solution helps liquefy fat cells and shrink blood vessels to minimize trauma. Next, ultrasound frequency is used to detach fat cells from connective tissue. Once all the fat cells are detached from surrounding tissue, gentle suction is applied with a cannula to permanently remove all the unwanted fat. Wow, that's quite interesting. So, I mean, sucking out the fat and then placing it elsewhere. Yes. Um, how does the does the how does the body easily uh, sorry, how does the body mm. easily? It's for three points. No, I'm just being <laughs> spoken to in my ear, so sometimes it's a bit distracting, you know. So just pardon me, viewers. Um, you know, God is talking to me. Um, how does uh, the body sort of um, accept the p- new placement, like VC? No, it it, it doesn't. Uh, it doesn't because um, you are, you are going to fill a space with fluid. So you need to be able to, we we fix, we create a boundary for it so it doesn't spill over. Mm. So what is not done properly is when you see some people with like, it's, mm. like it's over, it's, there's an overflow, mm-hmm. it's overlapping, mm-hmm. where it's supposed to sort of stay in a certain mm-hmm. shape. Mm-hmm. So that's when maybe too much has been put there and the boundaries are not done properly mm-hmm. because the whole butt is fat. The okay. whole breast is mostly fat. Mm-hmm. Right. So if you go in there and add more to it, you need to really compact the place to make okay, it stay. So dog, the whole butt is fat. Yes. So um th- that means that with maybe women who have uh, protruding uh, backside backside yes. it's a lot, a lot of, of fat. fat. Yes, a lot of fat. Mm. That's why it causes the skin. And, and it causes the skin that, wrinkling. Is it, is it from food or is it? Oh some DNA, are genetics. Some genetics. are genetics. That some fat naturally um Deposits. Fat yeah. deposits there. Deposits yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. So when they eat after the body has finished <laughs> using. No, so the problem is that okay. we don't. No, explain we don't what's the problem? Because hmm. y- let's say for your car, let me use a car for example. Mm-hmm. Your car needs about two liters of fuel for every time you step on the accelerator for it to move a certain distance. Right? So you put 10 liters, you know you should be able to go about 10 kilometers if it's per kilometer. Mm-hmm. Right? Now, in the case where you put a fuel inside but you don't go 10 kilometers, it means some is left. Mm-hmm. Now, what's left needs to be stored somewhere. Mm-hmm. The body looks around. Uh, where can I put this? Where can I put it? Then it goes and stores it in your belly, your underarm, your thigh, and then your butt. Sometimes your cheeks mm. and your neck region. So it stores it there. Now, the, now this fat was supposed to be stored in case you emergency. You need to bend that in producing heat, right? It goes there and then extracts that. Mm-hmm. That's why if you actually reduce the temperature in the room, the body starts to break down fat to produce heat. Mm. The stored fat. The stored fat yeah. Now, this stored fat, people think it's always from the fatty food you eat. Some of it is actually from carbohydrate. When you eat carbohydrate, the rest of it that is not bent is broken down and stored as fat. As fat, okay. Mm. So, so carbs itself can lead you to store this amount of fat. Wow, and there's no place that the body chooses but to go there. Yes. Wow. So does it mean that f- based on eating habits, a woman can generate, um, ex- uh, you know, Yes, but taking features. away, taking away, uh, taking away genetics. Maybe the family they are already big, they are already plump or a certain genetic makeup. Then fine, definitely chances that you get some to come from a family they have high metabolism, mm. so they burn things quickly. Mm. They eat, it's gone. Then you ask them questions like, where's the food? <laughs> Where does it go to? Mm-hmm. Right? Then it's that. Mm-hmm. And then some people have slow mm-hmm. metabolism. They eat little and it shows. Mm-hmm. So everybody is different from how they were built. That's why we should be careful how we say these things, 
because oh. if you understand how you were built then you should know that some of these things that you do this augmentations or skin augmentation or beauty augmentation you do do relapse because mm. you definitely go back to default <laughs> Mm. I know where Lenny's is going to. Yeah, because if you build a lot of fat, whereas anybody who has built a lot mm. of fat around the butt and you've seen it before, it gets to wrinkle. Mm-hmm. Because the skin is stretchy. It starts stre- yeah. it's, it's stretch. So it stretches mm-hmm. beyond a certain limit, then it wrinkles, then you get the stretch marks because it keeps stretching and coming back. Mm-hmm. 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 So, so wh- what is, how is this procedure done? And um, what that are the to a second video. Okay. Okay. So this procedure is done. The first time we need to do it is first, you need to remove fat from your abdomen. Abdomen. Abdominal region. Mm-hmm. So we have this, um, it's like a suction rod. Yeah. With a, there's a hollow point at it. So we put it under the skin and we pull it al- uh, in and out. You know, mm-hmm. str- so the more. <laughs> is it just. <laughs> you, you, you're shaking. No shaking, no. person. I'm just trying to. Imagine. Imagine. Yeah, yeah but you are done. Is you're put under anesthesia. Yeah. It's a scum. Do, yeah. Can it transfer scum. maybe yeah. somebody yeah. else's yeah. body fat to another person? Yeah, you can, but there are risks involved. If the blood groups and all these things, um, allergic reactions and all, you have to think closely. So it's better we use yours, or maybe somebody in your family, like genetically, mm. maybe your sister, or somebody's close in genome to you. But you sometimes people have tried using animal fat, mm. like probably can take animal fat and then, because well, they don't want to undergo the surgery. So if doing this procedure, honestly, is dangerous. So with that, do, do, they, do they do the mm. procedure themselves? No, no, no. Some people have been doing it on the street. For some the animal fat? Yeah, some people have been doing it on the street. They actually inject people, women's butt with a lot of things, and it ends up really bad. People die in hotel rooms and other things because it's so done. That's supposed to work. Have people started to donate fat already? Oh, to mm. get to that point. <laughs> if yeah. Have, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, because if you are looking for... If you are looking you are for fat, fat and you want to reduce... Uh, you can donate the fat. To Aside somebody that else. You, <laughs> so that instead of people using the animal fat... Bro, that's yeah. extreme. Yeah, oh, yeah, people are donating yeah, sperm extreme? and eggs. So 2024? Ah, yeah. <laughs> I don't uh, think so. So well, you, you walk into a place like, uh, I'm here to like, move a bit of here, a bit of yeah. that. And then, How much uh, do I get? Maybe put on a scale. We put on a scale like per per kg. This is how much you have. Wow. No, you see, l- even moving on from the, the surgery, after the surgery mm. aspect, you there's a lot of work that goes into maintaining mm. this. Well, the video is ready. I don't know if you want okay, to be so quick. Yes, we yeah. can watch the video. Um, uh, and again, viewer discretion is advised about, yeah. on this video. Again, I repeat, viewer discretion is advised on this video. But this is what most people go through just because they want to look the way that they think the society will accept them. Let's watch this. All right, guys, so now I'm going to start suctioning. I spent a half hour taking the tree and breaking everything up. Now I'm going to highlight her because she wants to have a little bit of a Pilates look. So what I do is that I try to leave a hill, and then you carve everything out so it's sculpting. That's why they call it sculpting, so that I can start to highlight All right, guys, so now I'm going to start suctioning. I spent a half hour taking the tree and breaking everything up. Now I'm going to highlight her because she wants to have a little bit of a well that's quite doc would you just tell us what's really going on there like so, that's quite so he's when we talk about fat the fat the skin on the skin you have the fat layer then you have the muscle tone and mm-hmm. that so in getting the specs or packs or how people put it you need to build the muscle underneath to push against the fat mm-hmm. right and then push the fat away and then you get it showing now in the, in the presence where the person has so much fat you can do this procedure remove the fat layer and then the muscle we can tone the muscle and sculpt it into shape make it look like six packs mm-hmm. And let me raise the point. If you do this and you don't eat well, you don't go do the diet, and you don't do the exercises, mm. you relapse. What happens? Yeah. And you have to probably do this again. Mm. But the, the, what is the danger of of the doctor just using that rod, you know, and choking, choking? Um, the, I mean, can, can, if he's not if he's not trained the properly, he can damage, he can perforate the abdomen itself because the muscles are protecting all your organs. Mm. Oh, so he can perforate oh. through the muscle and damage an organ, or he can introduce bacteria into that layer. You mm-hmm. can get infections. Mm-hmm. Also, other things you understand that when he's doing this, your skin is going to get loose. Because your skin was overlying fat, so it stretched a bit. Now we remove that, tightened. it's tightened, so we now remove that fat. The skin is going to start getting loose. So then you have to go in there and do a surgical procedure where you do a, a tummy reduction. Mm. Where you stretch the skin and you cut the loose one away and then you reattach. <sighs> wow. Oh, all I hear is people are going through a lot. So Honestly. I'm, I'm <laughs> okay. Yes, Apart from the, but the physical venture of doing all this, at, at some point, I'd like for us to. I strongly believe that this is all body dysmorphia, and, and psychological. And yeah. Psychological. I think people we are having a mass hysteria. People are losing their minds, and because of social media and over sexualized content in our society, we've accepted people going crazy, 
and doing these things. So I, I've put, I've shared something on body dysmorphia yeah. that maybe we can bring up later in the convo mm -hmm, for mm -hmm, doctor mm -hmm. also put it because I don't think normal human beings would do this just to look a certain way. It's like there's mm -hmm. literally no benefit beyond aesthetic, and it's life threatening. Mm -hmm. You know. Uh, yeah. So I wanted to ask, Doc, so, so when, when patients, you know, let me say customers, approach, you know, clients. 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 No, 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 they are customers, <laughs> customers. <laughs> they, are buy, they are coming to buy debt. <laughs> uh, when, they, when they approach, you know, for such, um, what are the, I mean, I come to you and I said I want, um, you know, maybe uh, f I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a girl, and because um, I mean, it's common amongst women, I'm just saying, I'm just being fair to the gender. That's common amongst women. Yes. As give credit to where guys. credit is due. Yeah, give credit to where credit is due, exactly. So I come to you mm -hmm. that maybe I want a breast enlargement. Um, and I am slim. Maybe, an example, for want of a better person to use, maybe like maybe I'm as slim as Lenny, and there's mm. no fat on me, yeah. but I want breast. But I eat everything. Go on. But oh, I wow, 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 wow. What, 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 is, what is the, what are the, no, no, what, what, what happens? What is the conversation like? Um, uh, so because starts, you said you're not using silicon, so, you know, yeah, so the whole kind from silicon. Starts, <laughs> no, so for breast, breast enlargement, we actually do that fish out. Because the way it is, you put a fat there, it will be a little bit lopsided and all that. So we use the artificial which is rounded and more form. defined well, do we, what yeah. oh, and already prepared yes, prepared. Yeah, so there are sizes breast breast shape. So yeah, there yeah. Are sizes so you decide the size you want so Doc, i want to understand i know we don't have a picture of a breast or maybe i don't know if you want to but oh, breast the the how so how is it done <laughs> okay. is it that they re, they remove what is in there yeah, and so push a bigger one in there so but the what happens to the the um, the memory glands the, and all. Oh, well, you remember? Ah, oh, yeah. Okay. 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 Yes, even though uh, I didn't study science, like I say, I, I mean this thing. Uh, co um, you still love biology. My elective course. Yeah, I love biology. So when it comes to memory glands about the about the breast, that one remember. Stoneboy, um, Stoneboy, Stoneboy. Yeah, Stoneboy, but I mean Stoneboy the rest, yeah, I can't. Student. Yeah, exactly. So, the rest so, I can't remember. So the conversation starts with this: the why you are doing this. Mental. Mm -hmm. So we need to mentally prepare you that this this decision I'm making, and we tell you the side effects. If this you are doing, this is what it comes with. This is the cost. Apart from the cost, the cost to your life, the cost to your lifestyle, the cost to the people around you, how they'll see you. Risks. Because some, some, are, wow, you know. Okay. And some might be like, uh, okay. was it necessary? Then, because this whole breast thing it was designed for people who had breast cancer to give them that confidence back. Mm. It was not designed for cosmetic use. Mm -hmm. Then the whole advent of some, I don't know what happened, and all of a sudden they became the whole. It became first was mm -hmm. large breasts was the thing. Mm. Then it reduced to a certain size, a B, a double B, a double C. Then mm -hmm. it changed to minimal. It's okay. The model, the advent of the models where they look a certain way. Then it became the advent of the uh, hourglass shape. Yeah. I think Slim it's waist. And I feel it's changing. So if you are somebody who wants to follow these things, it means that for you, you're going to make your, your cosmetic surgeon very rich. And even now, because you're going to keep coming. Yes. People are yeah. reversing yeah. their so, surgeries. No, so, so. I'm coming, so what happens with the memory glands? So what like we go in is that it's a cavity. The breast is a cavity. We go in there. Depending on the size you want to put in there, you might want to make space. So you have to keep, like take some out. Some of? We have to take some of the, the memory glands and the fat tissue that is there. Adipose that is there. Okay. Take it out. But doesn't this affect breastfeeding and all those things? So that's what happens. You can't breastfeed. Oh, when you do that, you said the glands have been, all the pathway has been blocked. Okay, so let's let me ask the the, the ladies since they are here, so they can maybe tell us from a lady's perspective what this might mean. Um, why would a woman want to alter the shape, size, weight of her, you know, Breast of her melons? Yeah. yeah. What are some of the conversations amongst women on the on the reasons? I mean, I don't I don't know genuinely. I mean, aside oh, Lenny. the general... Lenny, Lenny's eyeing me some way that hurts me. <laughs> because the two of us. No, I'm not saying you but are I get you. But I'm asking, okay. I, you I see, so you. if Let you don't ask say. the women this question, no. they come and say that, are you women? You don't know us. Uh, I'm not saying you do. I'm um, just saying that what are the conversations yeah. amongst women okay. on the reasons why... Look, I don't wear bra. So I hear sometimes in some cases, they say some women, they say they don't like wearing bras at all. For what reason, I don't know. But I thought it was a part of the dress culture of women. I've heard some men say that they don't wear undies. I, I thought it was a dress culture of, Men. for a boy, would feel very uncomfortable if he just put the shorts on. 
You understand? Yeah. You clearly understand. You. Why. Even for that, even I'm for just that, saying, it's subjective. And I mean, I'm just saying that you can understand. You can imagine the discomfort that sometimes it can even bring. But, it's okay to wear. What will, what will push someone to make that decision? So, so okay, I'm only asking so that. I'm well, only not, asking, not, I don't think it's a simple decision to yeah, make. I'm only it? asking just, that. What are the things? No, just so you see, let's not downplay the people who do it. There are mm. risk factors, but yeah. there could be genuine reasons why they're so doing. So I'm asking that in the you know me, I ask hard questions. In the the feature of having um, a protrusion in front of you. What does it come with that makes a woman want to either enlarge decre- or decrease unless in cases of cancer yeah. cut off? The customer but perspective, okay. we, we yeah. don't know. We don't know. So I just want to find out. Aside yeah. the it's social the media, aside the social media um, influence and in people where people just want to do it because of social media, I feel like sometimes that's where it starts from for a lot of people. And then maybe... When you say influence of social media, I don't understand. Yeah. So the um, the way social media projects women with a certain type of physique, like then you were saying it's generational, it's changed from time to time. Sometimes for some people, even maybe geographically, it might even be different. What um, the kind of body people will be looking at in Brazil on social media might be different from what people are looking at in Ghana. It might be different. Do you get what I'm trying to say? No. Okay. So if in Ghana there's a set type of body that is perfect, if I'm going to dock for um, a perfect body, that's a picture I'll show him. Do you understand? Oh, yeah. This is what I want. This is what I want. You wouldn't show him Miss Denmark. Miss? I might not necessarily want that. It does something that culture yeah. in Ghana, okay, we okay. don't like music. I'm, I'm not, I'm not so focusing I, I'm, on the so entire I'm body. I'm that actually starting off with, um, you know, the, 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 the breast conversation. I have mm-hmm. a reason for focusing on that. And, okay, so I'm saying that... I never thought that this would be the conversation, Lenny will be the most quiet the whole year. Quiet. I'm quite listening. Surprising. I mean, um, when is he done? Nada shows you don't listen. I'll, mm. I'll, I'll speak. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Aside social media, mm-hmm. it's subjective. There's a lot of factors. Mm-hmm. Um, First hand, what I've experienced was from a friend that decided to get it because her friend had it so that they could twin which i think is a very weird reason but they wanted to get it together because (laughs) she felt like it was going to make them like you know bond better as best friends Mm. and so i'm going to say that these things are subjective aside social media and and personal preferences the major one is to fit in because some women have this ideology that this body is what's perfect and so if i go to get this procedure done i will fit in some people also feel like that body type gets favors it gets things done easily for them um a lot of times again back to social media it's like if you have this body type Mm -hmm. um life is easier for you men will like you men will approach you men want to spend money on you so if i don't want to struggle in life and do the hard work and go the hard way i could just go go through the pain like one time and then find a man who likes my body and then pays for it so that's also another factor and there's also people who are also pressured to undergo some of these things where maybe um my boyfriend is paying for it or my husband is paying for it go and get it done so, so, so there's a lot and okay. these are like what is even coming to my mind now, okay. but i feel like there's a lot of other. i was reasons. hoping to hear a certain answer but yes. i'm not hearing it yet okay. there's a lot um of not, not to say they are wrong no 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 it's oh, just what course. satisfies mm, my personal cue yes but so let me see if things that come to play when people decide to rework their bodies okay so there's um i i i say that it's four things so okay. this is four okay so you mentioned four three things, so we have right? seven coming up the person themselves the, some men in the person's life, other women in the person's life, and then society. Okay. Society, because society has given us a certain or upheld a certain body type or body shape. Regardless that we don't create our own selves, there's this body shape that is more appreciated, which we refer to as the Coca Cola body. In recent times, it's referred to as slim thick. Slim thick. Yes. Mm-hmm. Slim, thick. Yes. Yeah. So you are slim, but you have, you know, rounded upper parts and lower okay. parts as well. So that's what they call slim, thick. Mm. That's for hmm. the society. For other women as well, there are other women who are built like that, who have women in their lives who are not built like that, who will shame you or body shame you or laugh at you or tease you that you are not built like them. 
for other men as well some way somehow some men will go for women who are not built like that and force them to change change, change. how they look because that is their ideal body type so for those men you just go for what is already there because you are also now making these women not feel like they are up to par when it comes to how they look externally and then also the women themselves mm -hmm. when they open themselves up to fall to all of these pressures and then now go through that mental torture of am i not enough do i look good enough do i not look good enough am i acceptable am i you know um how i have to look if i can do something about it i will do something about it even to the extent where for some of the women who don't even have the means they now start finding ways and means to get that body type because then when they get that body type the means that they don't have today should they get it now they will start earning mm -hmm. or making some type of money because they are able to attract a certain sect of men who will want to pay for the body right mm -hmm. as well we've seen men who literally drool over women with a certain body type when they are included even when they are included and so that's that's mentality is also there that oh maybe i should look okay. this um, so this way i want and to ask a few questions uh, to doc i'm going to come to you shortly you. with the because uh, i'm i'm smelling madness Small in the air. Uh, Madness. Uh, this one, um, hey, uh, Salome say says, madness. Jay, please say hi to Isilfwa uh, for me. This is from Salome on socials. Uh, says, you guys remember that one lady died at uh, obeying for pastime no, over these sorry. years, over something like yes. perception stuff. Yeah. Uh, it says, till what end will our women love themselves? I know AC loves herself. Hey, I'm proud of her. Hey. I do. Mm. Uh, right. This one says, I think it's largely body insecurity that leads yeah. uh, ladies into mm -hmm. it. That's from uh, D. Uh, D, good morning to you. Um, so, messages coming in. Okay, I'm reading quite a number of them. This one from Awaga says, most ladies do that because they have low self-esteem, period. Yeah. That's another angle. Yeah. Okay, so in all this, Doc, all I am hearing, and I love the answers that our two ladies have shared, most of the conversations that they have, or the things they've said, have a bit of what the man thinks, what the man is thinking, or what the man wants. And then we do it for the men to attract, because I don't think they're attracting the same sex or they're attracting ants or sugar. They're attracting men, which that would be a different conversation for another day for why you want to attract us, because we already now we are attracted already. Even as whether you are, you are, you are this thing, uh, you, uh, triple plus size or you are Lizzo, Lizzo, yeah, Lizzo, Lizzo yeah. we like we yeah we like we we we, 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 we they are looking shame. for is Lizzo no, no, so, so what I was hoping because yes, every so what man I'm, has what they will typically yeah. go for no that's right as every comment. woman has so, their so type I'm coming to them coming to the point so what I was hoping I thought I was going to hear was on um maybe the um the the weight of my melons is causing a certain back pain. back pain or the shape of my melons you're expecting to hear that from us who haven't got done no 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 no, 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 let me ask you, no, you, you hear, no, yeah, no, no, yeah, you hear, but you won't hear that, no, 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 you won't hear that because we haven't done that, AC spoke about, AC spoke about somebody, AC spoke about somebody and something she's heard, yeah, so that's why he's saying that, he thought maybe you being women, in your female circles, but might you have heard women. that so somebody's bust is too big. So yes. that's why, or somebody's so thighs saying. are too big or too thin. That is why. So, I mean, not, yes. so I was hoping to hear. I'm, I'm, I'm not done. I'm not done. I'm okay. saying that I was hoping to hear uh, uh, sensible like, reasons. Like, like maybe because of the <laughs> kinds <laughs> of, uh, let's what say, your friend is doing this, uh, want to do it braziers or braziers, some might say, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> available that the world has created. You said it yourself. We don't have our type. Oh, no, guys, I mean, we don't have our type. So maybe it's difficult to find my type of undergarment Bra. that will fit my. So I was thinking the reasons might be reasons that force you to a point where for certain medical Reason, and uh, you know it, 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 but these reasons are quite like um nonsensical uh, 
you know, I just want to... Because it's to, cosmetic. If, if that's it, why it's called yes, cosmetic. That's why it's a word that's meant to... You know, something that's needed, I'm sure. Uh, clinical. The, yeah, clinical, exactly. Yeah. That's no, what I mean. And then I've, also, let's yeah. not, let's okay, not so say I made that a, I made a statement. nonsensical. No, let's not use that word. I, no, I, no. I, my, Cyril, Cyril, no, no. Whoever we are not saying it. Cyril is saying it. And I'm standing on it. So, Mr. Cyril Alex Gokel. Kujo, Edem. Kujo, Edem. Junior. You are my my index number. It's nonsensical. Do you know why? I want to justify even, why it's nonsensical though, before you rebut. Even though I will not do it, right? I mean, to these people as well, whatever reasons <sighs> they have makes sense to them. That is why some Lemote. people know that I may die, but I will still go and try. Lenny. You know, the, if the, I die... Listen. The, 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 yes, Lenny, Lenny you know. the, the, the opinion of the deluded does not change the fact that they are living in a delusion. That is how mental health works. When, quote-unquote, somebody has a mental health problem... And mm -hmm. they think that they are a bed, so they climb on the building. It doesn't change the fact that they are not a bed. Mm -hmm. so, right? Right. Mm -hmm. So we, we, as the people on the outside, cannot buy into the delusion with them and say it's okay. I still stand by the fact that it's nonsense because it is based in or rooted in mental health. Body dysmorphia. I've sent out a chart. I want us to go through it. I've been quiet because most of what both of you have described are symptoms of body dysmorphia. So let's put that yeah, up. I agree. And then I we agree. can no, now I, accept... I'll get it to the group for you. And then we can I now accept I, I that... I agree with No, no, let me... So let me not. So we can... No, no, what I'm saying is that it's not the part. The whole thing is body dysmorphia. Body dysmorphia is not a part. Whether you justify it... Oh, you don't it, get what I'm saying. Whether, I'm, let saying me, I'm looking at it as, <clears throat> as two things, right? If I say that part, I mean, you saying is nonsensical, that I don't agree with. Because, again, it's an individual's decision to make. Do you understand? So, yeah, whatever the and, case. And individuals can make saying, nonsense decisions. No, no, no. I'm saying that that part, I, I don't agree. Because for somebody to up and say that I want to get cosmetic surgery or I want to go through a procedure, mm. knowing very well the health risks or some health mm. risks that it can pose mm. to them and mm. even to the point that they know that it's a high possibility that they will lose their lives mm -hmm. and still go ahead mm -hmm. with this maybe it's nonsensical to you because you won't do it or you will not advise anybody to do, do you it know the but what i'm saying is for them to sit and think through all of the pros and the cons and all of that and still, still decide do you, do you, to do it do you, it's not that's what i'm saying that the person who is thinking through the pros and cons is suffering from a mental problem that is what I'm telling you. So that person's uh, uh, judgment or reasoning is not going to be a par with you. That is what I'm saying, that we cannot buy into the delusion. The fact that you've told somebody that if you do this, you could die, and the person says, yes, it's you a problem. You didn't say you will die. No, you could. could. Yes. So no, 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 no. Hear me out. Yeah. The, first, the, first, the first thing we all humans do is self-preservation, right? Mm -hmm. That's why we have instincts. That's why we're able to differentiate fear from danger. Being afraid that somebody might laugh at your body, right? It's not conclusive. It is perceptive. It's a perception. You are being afraid. You are in no danger. But going to submit yourself for this being done is you submitting to danger. Tell them. Do you understand? There's a difference between fear and danger. Everything you guys have said, they don't like how they look. It's a fear. It's an insecurity. It's something that is psychological. It's, you are in no danger. Because if you could be fine with it. You, you could be fine with it. Yeah. If, if you have big bust or small bum or all these things, whatever underlining thing you are doing is not a threat to your life. But if you put that sentiment on so much of a scale that you choose to submit that discomfort that you are feeling emotionally and mentally to subject yourself danger. that even has 1% danger, then there's something wrong. Please, so let's look at the body dysmorphia. At this and then point, we break. The way I, can, can we can we look going, at it? It's making yeah, me. Yeah, it's making we, me. I want to make okay. my point so that it's in context before we end. Let's get the but image. Even up. if it's out of context, I support you. Yeah, let's no, get the no, image. No, but yeah, let's get again, the. Oh, it's, it's not I, a competition. I, I totally, no, it's so let me get the image. I'm totally against this whole BBL thing, but right, I'm I'm just listening to what Lenny is saying. Nobody is saying that you two are in support of it. Oh, that's fine. I'm just saying. When someone is Mr. Jamal. Chairman, chairman, oh no, no, chairman, no. chairman. Exactly. You actually all say the same thing. We are saying the same get, thing. I am just going further to say that. I don't know whether the production team is also against what you are saying. I'm just going. It's two, it's two things. It's two things. One, a lot of people are not aware. You are on the screen for you. There it is. Yeah. So I mean, you are closer. I'm close to it. Which one should I read, my brother? No, what is it? So what is body dysmorphic? Read everything. Body dysmorphic disorder, BDD. 
<laughs> or body dysmorphia <laughs> is a mental health condition where a person spends a lot of time worrying about their body image. Pause. I should pause. Social media. Let him go. Okay, my friend looked like this. Girl, this girl looked like that. I look like this. I posted a picture. I got 100 likes. She posted a picture. She got 5,000 likes. Oh my God, blah, 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 blah. It compounds. And it, oh, don't take it off the screen. My face is oh, more no, important. No, no, we, we have to see. No, 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 no. Let's we'll, have we'll, we'll coming, my voice running. Out. So let's go back. So all these apply. Whether it's your own impression of yourself that you are comparing to your reality or you are looking externally to other people's body forms and as assigning benefits to perceived benefits to those body forms and guilting yourself about it because you look a certain way and concluding that it's because of how you look that is why your life is not as glamorous or your social media is not as popping as somebody and else real. these are I, all i saw posts on um on somebody saying on a, on a girl saying that she likes chubby men mm. and i don't think chubby men are even bothered about the fact that they are if I'm, it's a chubby man wants to so somebody told me i health, didn't even know it's on chubby. health reasons that's not true it's on health reasons some i mean some, i mean some, some are some men about no 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 i'm just saying that i'm just saying that yeah. generally you would have in the, life you would have a's and b's yeah. and let's, and let's have but i'm just saying that mm -hmm. you have chubby men with swag you understand they swag it up but so but so listen saying? what name do we give to be, uh, boys that are fat general mm -hmm. biggie biggie <laughs> like i mean they're all biggies you understand and it's even it's even swagged up but that's what i was asking about the trying to understand the mindset of mostly I'm explaining the yeah. mindset, yeah. Like, uh, uh, no, please. Go. I don't know whether the production no, team is I, full I of. I don't, uh, don't want us to sit on. here. No, 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 no. I don't want us to sit here and make it look like it's just women that have an issue with being big. No, 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 no. Nobody said that. Sorry, show me what you're Sorry, no, she's not saying. I'm not saying anybody said that. But the girl who did the picture inside to nobody. Yeah, body this month. That's so misconceptions. Having BDD does not mean you are vain or self or self obsessed. That's very important. It says BDD can vary in severity from person to person and may make it difficult to go out in public or see other people. Mm -hmm. uh, who does that affect? It says people out of any age can develop BDD, but it's most common in teenagers and young adults. Mm -hmm. It affects both men, men and, and women. women. So, yeah. so it's, yeah, yeah, both parties. Yeah. That's both what parties. I wanted us to And it can cause it. emotional now distress. Now this, this, this is the highlight of yes. what I want us to read. You might have BDD if you... Now I want us to go through what qualifies mm -hmm. for people who most likely have it and look at our modern world and what we've normalized in mirror or avoid mirrors completely number one yeah people say your, your mirror my mirror my mirror my mirror yes number two mm -hmm. compare your looks with other people all the time uh, all seek the time constant the reassurance but I hope, you, I hope you know that you've been in this place that we are like, like. <laughs> <laughs> um, brushing or styling your hair obsessively all the time. Yeah, the media. I'm, 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 you, <laughs> you, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> yeah, in the spectrum. Uh, yeah. Yeah, he is frequently <laughs> weighing yourself. <laughs> Uh, you know, lately I've been signing sideways and like, say, Sign. hey, signing sideways. <laughs> <laughs> signing sideways. <laughs> Pick your skin. It's okay. It's okay. It's not okay. Pick your skin uh, to make it feel <laughs> smooth. <laughs> Excessively using tanning uh, beds and or tanning products. Mm -hmm. Feel mm -hmm. as if you are in need of cosmetic surgery to change a part of your now, body. To summer, to conclude. Yes, we have to go. Our time is up. Majority of these are in our social media world. Right? Number two, comparing our looks to this, to that, blah, blah. You both said it. It's in our social media. Number three, constant seeking of reassurance. You post something, nobody liked it. Nobody wrote cute. Nobody put heart emoji. Oh my God, I must be fat. All these things. So the first place, and this is free advice to everybody, the first place before you go to a plastic surgeon to go and ask about BBL and all these things, talk to psychologist. a psychologist. Lay your burdens out. Lay your prob problems out. And it might be an issue of self-esteem. It might be an issue of BDD. It could be a million other things. Mm -hmm. Before, if indeed it's none of those, and you really have your head on your shoulders right, and you still want to do this, then you go ahead because it's your life, your choice. But a lot of people are suffering. The reason why you hear people go and undo it, or people get depressed after, or people don't have the discipline to carry it through and sleep on their stomach for six, uh, six weeks or eight weeks or whatever, or all these problems you hear is that there is cognitive dissonance. The thing that pushes you to do the thing, it's gone. and now you do it, it's gone. and then you get biased remorse. Because you did it now, and you don't feel better. You have that Coca-Cola body shape, but your life is still empty. You have the boobs of whatever, and your life is still empty. People are now liking it. You have one million likes, but there's nobody on your phone you can have a conversation with. So this stems 99.9% .9 from the mind. Whether it's your friend, whether it's uh, you're somebody you follow, whether it's somebody you work with, the moment you start thinking 
in that way. The problem, the seed of the problem is here. Because everybody is beautiful. Everybody within the context of humanity and our society is beautiful. The moment you feel like you as a person, as a creation, is in a, you are inadequate and you need to be worked on to be adequate in society, check your mind first before you check your body. Gospel. Doc. I like mirrors, by the way, but I don't think I have BDD. You said obsessive. You, you like yeah, what? I do. You what do you say? You like what? No, I, okay. What I'm mirror. obsessive she, about She likes mirrors. mirrors. I love the I'm fact that there are mirrors about you. But you, but, ah, is he? Yes, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> you, 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 isn't on the side of getting the plastic surgery because and there's also this thing it's like it's on the rise it's, it's in a lot of skits it's in a lot of movies and all of that and so people who wouldn't open up to talk to another person about a hey, like i feel this way about my body will just end up going for it without telling anybody and is it possible for someone to go I through and time, get okay. sorry and get um the procedure done without the um Pep talk you give them, if I should call it no, that. No, you can't. You no, can't. You, you can't. Really. You you have to because we don't want the issue where as is a bias remorse. Mm -hmm. mm. You would want to make sure that this you are, you understand what you are doing. Mm. And sometimes we try to get people around you, support system. Okay. You try to get people around you. Uh, usually we don't get people who want to look like that around you. Mm. Ah. Like we get people who are okay with themselves mm. Mm. around you mm -hmm. like they are actually opposite to what you are mm. looking for okay. and you get them around you and they come they're even wondering like why, why? Want so we, we are even prep them that they don't judge you they sort of try to reach you and see mm -hmm. what's going on with this like is there a guy and usually some of these things come from our guys pressure meanwhile pressure. they would say they really like it natural at this yeah. point no 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 we we right we now like, how do we, we like tell it the natural just, we like no, it just about mental fortitude we like it just the way yes. it you can't sway it you, you can't sway yeah. every time the wind yeah. blows people yeah. Yeah. will but say what they say but, but you need zero. mental fortitude our time is up our time is up sorry I'll take you back let me end on this let me take you back to the example I made the first time I came on the show I walked into an office and a woman said hey Charlie you're still a camo and I said oh are they trying my you and she got upset <laughs> it's about mental fortitude it was okay to tell me me my stomach come when i said oh i'm competing with you sorry i'm sorry our time is up we have to go now uh yes on that note our time is up we'll be back here same time tomorrow on culture daily enjoy the rest of your day and peace out Culture Daily was brought to you by Telesale.